All right. Send the police explain to me what the hell is going on here with the shooting. Oh, uh, I thought that was settled, but yeah, I can explain it for you if you'd like. Uh, did Mr. Little Bleach give you the rundown of everything that happened? Apparently there's some shit talking yeah. and then Stay people got there. shot. Oh, really? I, I did some shit talking? I just Actually, want to hear no, the full right. story from both sides. Yeah. I did do some shit talking, but uh, I right, feel like see. the disrespect came from that side first. And then once the disrespect came, I said, can we be civil? And he said, what the fuck do you mean? Went off. And then I did shit talking. So he's right. I did do shit talking. Okay, what happened, Jason? Or Bleach? Who was it? Bleach? Oh, I mean, I already told you he got shot because he was shit talking. He was being disrespectful as fuck. Yep. I feel like, uh, you know, there's a certain thing with just human beings and... Uh, first my problem was only with Mr. Bleach and then it turned out into... Like a whole gang, Mr. Bleach and his friends, I believe. And uh, I'm not right exactly together. sure what happened there. Well, yeah, yeah. You, you're all right what together. Happens. Yeah, no, I, I understand that part. I totally get that part. The boys right enough for the boys, I get that. Uh, why I got, you know, gunned down, I get that part too. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little annoying. Let's be honest. I was being a little bit of a child, but... The original conflict was what I had a problem with. And uh... When they robbed you. No, no, no. Uh, no, it was after that. Because when they robbed me, I straight up told them. I thought, oh, I thought that was like criminal code, blah, blah, blah. I told you that, Mr. K. Mr. K, you told me that that don't exist. Uh, if you're going to be robbing, you got to you gotta be about that life. So I said, okay. I sucked it up. Uh, I mean, you're robbing a bank with a crew that two of them didn't have a gun. Go, chap is you, right? Hello, yeah. All right, it's in there. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, so I said chat. The, <laughs> the street team, then I talked to them, they, they didn't know you were part of Wu-Chang. I had Jalen come down to Legion Square, right? And then he paid yeah, you the I, next day, no? No. Mr. Jalen well, told like me on later. the spot. Mr. Jalen told me on the spot. Uh, I'm not sure if my guys have it or not. But if they do, oh, I'll, right, right, you know, right. they'll get it back, but I can't guarantee anything. So yeah, then uh, obviously we met up at the Chino shop. He found me at the Chino He said, oh, you know, you're the guy that robbed me, whatever. I'm like, oh, cool, whatever, yeah. Yeah, I was, you know. He's like, I'm going to get my stuff back. I'm like, no, you just got robbed. Fair and square, whatever. Uh, I get a phone call from Rami. You know, Rami said, you know, please just pay him the 50k, whatever. You know, he's a Wu-Chang artist. Uh, I said, sure, you know, I phoned Mr. Sané. I'm like, listen, Mr. Sana, you're lucky. You know, you have people that support you. You know, they got your back. And you're lucky. I, you know, I, so I respect those people. So I'm going to pay you the 50k back. And uh, that's when it went south. You know, homie did not like that comment. And uh, I paid him his 50k after that comment. And uh, she went south. And he goes, Yep. So right after that comment, I said, I think I either said, excuse me, or can we be civil? But it was one after the other. And then Mr. Bleach said, what do you mean, be civil? Blah, 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 blah. You're only getting your money because you're backed by this and this. And I get that. I understand that. But I just wanted to be civil. And I wanted to be with, done with. Everything was and at that point, after all that shit went down, shit. I just, I don't know. I just yeah, didn't. It wasn't really about the money anymore. It was never really about the money. It was kind of just like about the principle. You know, I didn't mean to go out yeah. and be a rat and be like, yo, uh, Mr. K, can you take care of this for me? It wasn't ever like that. It was, I just came to you because I heard that Street Team was a part of, of you guys. And you had told me previously <laughs> to come to you if I ever needed anything. Yeah, so that obviously I was a short internal thing we can figure out. Yeah, 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 I spoke to my boys. Uh, it was supposed to be a short internal thing. I, I don't know where this yeah, shit yeah. went fucking wrong. No, no I spoke bro, to my so boys. Boring. We spoke you up. We wanted to talk to you, but uh, on the way to the docks, you, you know, shit happened. You know, you you were I'll pretty right, annoying. I, and, uh, you guys I had no intentions to shoot you or anything. You just you were being kind of annoying. All our boys, our intention was not to shoot you. It was just to talk to you, but oh, oh yeah, like I tell said, you, I don't get, I, I don't get triggered easy, but you triggered the fuck out of me, so I shot you. Yeah, like I said, uh, Mr. Jalen, I understand that. With the trunk situation where it started from little soul, I totally get if anyone was upset with me, but what got me upset originally right, was cool. that conflict between me and Mr. Bleach, and that conversation in itself, I feel like there was unnecessary comments that were mocked off, but I get it. You got to earn your respect. I haven't been here that long. I get it, but I feel like that's basic, basic, basic. Even, well, I guess there's no criminal code, like Mr. K said, but even, even between criminals, I feel like there's basic human moral code. And you know, I wasn't, I wasn't being, oh. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God.
bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bubble, my bubble, my bubble. Yeah, that's bro. This guy. Oh my god, bro! He just came, man. Now, this is an example, I guess. Bro, it's not an example. Bro, you did the same thing. You did the same thing at the freaking helipad. Shut up. That was actually perfect because that is a perfect emphasis of what I'm trying to say. It felt like that, <laughs> but I wasn't friends with whoever that mister is. <laughs> yeah, so... Dude, no kidding. Okay. What the fuck? Me, all right, these guys are some dirty motherfucking dogs. They're the scummiest of the fucking scum, man. This is the street team. They don't play no games. They <laughs> fucking rob your mother type shit, you know? So... When I go to these guys and I say, Hey, man, you robbed one of my artists, da-da-da-da-da. And they make it right? They're, they're fucking strict people here. Yeah. You can't go like talking shit to them, especially when I'm trying to do the favor, because then that puts me in a weird fucking spot. But yeah, and uh, Mr. Rami also tried to help me out too with the original, exactly the original exactly. thing as well. He did. He definitely pulled. Yeah, yeah. Me. Even if they is the same shit, you know, it's just a matter of respect. These are these people live in the fucking gutters. Yep. Roger that. I smell crack. See, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, we robbed the cripple, dog. They robbed yeah, we, actually, we, 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 we did steal a wheelchair from my cripple. Oh, yeah, we, we did. We, we did. That shit, like, take care, bro. Oh, Holy shit. That's what they do, like, yeah. I mean, they probably robbed, like, fucking 20 other people or some shit. Yeah, did it yesterday. Yeah, we also robbed the bank yesterday. Shot all the cops Yeah, yeah. Too. We heard about that as well, yeah. So, there's one thing you, you gotta understand. The moment you, you order the laptop to go pick it up, that's where civil ends. You're going to rob a bank, so whatever happens to you happens. Yeah, uh, I apologize for whatever happened with the bank in the original part. And if I say yeah, anything no, to case, offend you guys, I think I just shit. didn't understand how the city works. Because I've been, uh, as you guys know, I'm a little new and I've been getting a different set of guidelines and codes from literally every sector of the city. <laughs> it's been very interesting. And, you know, I've heard from a couple different bank teams that I've done that people try to be civil at the at the laptop spot and if someone yeah. asks you kind of generally tell them so that you guys just don't clash right because that's that's well, the yeah that's here's, what it the was. Thing, here's the thing people generally are civil right yeah but there's always gonna be those crazy motherfuckers out there that live by their own rules you know what i'm talking about like, those wild yes, cards you gotta eat too you know what i mean <laughs> there's more people than just that there's a lot of crazy motherfuckers you're gonna run into out there and they don't all follow that shit you know me yes, and Jeremy, I'll follow that. I won't, you know. Unless there's some people I don't fuck with. But. Regardless. They know you're the Wu-Chang now. If y'all shit squashing, squashing, everything's good. Yeah. That's up yeah. Right, yep, now hug it out, boys. I'm big chilling. Hug it out. Big, uh, big group hug now. Come yeah. on. <laughs> hug it out. Oh, hug it out. Come on. Hug, hug, oh, hug, hug, hug. Bro. Bro, this is happening okay. right now. Sorry, guys. It's a good, it's a good learning lesson. Friendship. Because yeah. it's true, yeah. <laughs> when you're out there on the streets making that oh, money, you gotta watch your back, mm. especially if you're out there mm. selling stuff. People will mm. come up and rob you. We're all friends. Yep. I couldn't do it. I froze. It was so meaning for me. You can only Shit. trust your own boys. Yeah, no, we were Nobody actually else. here, and then, and then it got brought up. I was like, oh, yeah, let's calm down. Let's no, no, let's, let's make it. Yeah, but, yeah, it's all for you, Santa. That. The whole oh, thing. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it's all for you, bro. Yeah, all of yeah, fucking emotional yeah. as shit. Fuck. We just, we just feel like we love you so much, man. We don't want you to get fuck. shot out there, man. Yeah, That's the what it is. Out of here, Dylan. I feel like fucking family up here. What the fuck? Nah. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate this shit. So, what's going on with your show with those girls, by the way? Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about get that the as well. Fuck out of here, yeah, dude. I don't talk about that stuff. Should I? So, like, I'm part of Wu Ching, right? And then if, if I have to pull the plug, I'll pull the plug. Like, Drea is a friend of mine. But if it is what it is, <laughs> it's got to be my agency first. That's kind of just how it works in business. I mean, like, yeah, we can be friends, I, I was but... going to say from the start, we could do all this shit for you. No problem. Free of charge and you would make more money. Around you move your car real quick. Oh, yeah. So the thing was with uh, Miss Drea, I was just working at the Roosters doing my job. And uh, she she brought up that we could just just with promo. And it really wasn't anything serious. I think just he just became organic. a lot more you... than like. She, she was, yeah, she, when she tried yeah. to get like 150k out of us, that's when it was a red flag. We're like, what's going on here? So I, I do want to, I don't understand what the angle was that she was going at, or like what kind of tone the conversation was at. But from what I got from her, yo, 
With my Santa, you oh, think you can see. move your car real quick? Yeah, I got you. One second. Oh, it's Randy. Yeah. Where's Randy? He's oh, right, right, right there. Right there. <laughs> I thought this motherfucker nah, with this. That's not it. Nah. How was he doing? Oh, that? I'll put it in chat. Uh, I'm not thinking to ride around. Bonk or not. I think uh, that whole Dre thing though was like one big. It started off as like she knew what she wanted and became one big huge misunderstanding. What else happened though before that though, right? With the charity thing? No, uh, what charity thing? So. Oh yeah, yeah, that, the, the service thing. Kicked it all off. And I let this slide. It's this one. But then it after everything artists. else happened, I didn't let it slide. But. So. That one. She told us along with Cassie that that performance the, at the square. Oh, that's the best fucking. Was for charity. One. And that none of the artists would be paid because it's for charity. And we said, oh, charity. I mean, that's a dope cause. Let's, yeah, we'll perform for free, blah, blah, blah. Let's be real. Even you, you performed, right? Right, Santa? Yes, we had I... fucking P money from all the artists. Wu Chang Records carried that event, did we not? I, Hell yeah, I, we did. Yeah, I feel like most of our artists. Most were, of Wu You add it so it Maybe says. Like two other artists. Funk. And then had that business. Night drive. Thing. Like 80% of the event was just Wu Chang yeah. artists playing music. Now you drive funk mix. Like after yeah, the yeah. event, well during the event we found out they're giving 300k to a fucking random business for the little, you know. Put that before. Whatever that was, the little show. Actually, don't do that one. Not Capitalize funk artist. if you can. But after we're like, okay, what the fuck was the charity? And they said, oh, like that. there was no charity. So we were like. What the fuck did we, we we just carried your whole event for what? Like, oh, we told you, you guys weren't getting played. Blah, 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 blah. But really, they just use. Or you could keep it all capitalized. Keep it all capitalized. Don't get, make money to begin with. Which now you guys are making money. I'll care. get to that later. But use the artists to carry the event just so they can give away the 300k to a random business and make did their own Cerberus company look fucking good and all this dumb shit. And when I talked to their oh. their their boss. He was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he had you. no clue about this. It wasn't supposed to be charity, none of that. And he paid all the artists. Yeah. That's right off the bat, I was like, okay, these girls, you know, there's some, he, some off it. These are some slimy business people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he Which paid them. Which ain't good Okay. Also, like, did y'all notice how during that fucking, like, that 300k business proposal shit, everyone started to leave. Like, people straight up were leaving. Because, like, it wasn't the music. Motherfuckers only stayed for the music. They were there for the music, man. So that was the yeah. first thing, right? And then we meet for your show, and right away they start off again asking, "Oh, we're gonna need to pay the 100k for the main bank arena and all this other money for more props and artwork and all this stuff." I'm like, "What the fuck?" And they told us yeah, that they're gonna one. be running it all. Oh, yeah, they have the arena. Da, da, da. Yeah. So pretty much we would be paying them. I'm like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Short story huh. short, they said they could <laughs> do it actually for free. Yeah. After yeah. we kind of called them out on it. Oh, it's just, take it just off, uh, my hands. If they're trying to squeeze money, I don't know. You don't want to your car, you know? Interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, what There's I got from mess. Estrella... Hold on. Yeah, move. what I got from Estrella was pretty much... Uh, that is that... There were a bunch of people and just became a whole mess. And no she way. said it was miscommunication. But I mean... Jesus. I feel like That's the people in the room were the only what? ones that could really read that. She, she Has that Discord barged through the door stream saying it was terrible. message been coming in on its own? No, no, she's talking about when we went to the house. I think, oh, I think what she's talking about is like the mystery, I think it all stemmed when uh -huh. uh Vinny was talking in his Vinny way, and then oh, she shit. got like, "What the heck? Like this guy's attacking yeah. me." Because Vinny, that's uh, when it turned when like, right, he's yeah. yeah, he gets loud as fuck when he, he like, gets, gets loud attacked. and like he has like a lot of like emotion to how he speaks. So he sounds like he's like screaming at somebody or something <laughs> when he's just talking, and like I guess she wasn't used to it. So I think she got like a little I like can't do online, push back, dude. like what the hell is going on here? Fail. Why are you screaming at me? Uh, I see. So it was yeah. yeah it's, you gotta know Vinny to understand that. Uh, yeah, at the end of the like day, twelve today, minutes or something, some while the YouTube ones at ten, I think. Were like 5K. Ten and fifteen or twelve and fifteen spray, moments, so I can't remember. Eight lines yeah, needing to be in between them. Oh shit! Is that why she was crying before? That one should come through eventually. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my. So I guess, uh, no business with Miss Drea then? Yeah, I think it's best if we don't. Oh. Okay, that's fine by me. Uh, so for socials? 
she is my friend and i think uh it's hard to disassociate that but for business yeah, i understand that from a label crazy. perspective yeah i think the like yeah. whatever she was providing for Me you neither, just let us I'm know and then we'll make sure we do it you know way bigger and better than she can and will so that like you don't feel like you're missing out on whatever yeah, but service you, you made artwork, it venue music video whatever Damn, I, with all the respect, I'll be honest, I have no idea what the fuck we were doing. It was literally just, I was at the Rusta, we started talking, she was like, we should do some promotional stuff. And I was like, oh, it's perfect, I got some throw. stuff coming out Thanks next month. She, she, like, oh, she said, she said yeah, that she, she was really going to provide really promotion, but what does that mean? Sorry, like, I, don't, I hate people say like, oh, uh, I don't know. exposure. For shit. I don't know. Yep. I was like, what the fuck is she promoting? Like, we could promote, like, that's us, we could promote. Yup, no idea what to do with that. But uh, I'll let her know. What are you dropping the album or song? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dropping uh probably a single. I think uh, every month from January to March ish. I'm thinking around there. Is also, what I'm so far. if you're gonna okay. perform anywhere, just let us know. I say we okay. do with each drop. Of course, we'll sell tapes, and I think in those tapes. We'll do like uh, rare collectibles, only a certain amount, which each single, almost like a merch shop with a limited amount. So hell, people will be buying your tapes trying to get those because they know they'll be rare. They can collect them and all that shit. Bad. Right off the bat, that. Also, we get a sick venue, oh, fuck. set up a sick show. Maybe we get like uh, some visuals made. All that type of stuff. Yeah, can you I make was, a love uh... song for me and you? Ah. Uh... So I was also thinking possibly we could uh, uh so I was also thinking possibly uh if we if I could perform oh, this guy with just fucking himself. Yeah. I thought I was tripping. Yeah, what is that? Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh if I could perform with other he amazing, like the same amazing way artists like Saint Noel or Mr. Pimani, I think that would honestly be bro, probably was... the best best thing for any event that yeah, I could have. Bro, bro, the love dude. song is possible. 100%. Uh, uh. so yeah like if if like we could have um. a show together and then um you know what they do legend. some songs i do some songs and we just all have a good time kind of like a festival vibe almost like because to be honest um, i feel like all the really popping the off artists santa is squash with street team it's all chill yeah he has an understanding of that. Yeah. That he shouldn't be messed with anymore since he's yeah, uh, Wu Chang so we artist. Have but at the same time, you shouldn't expect to have great area. the crew I don't even need like a special time, promotional so. event. But now that you mention it, <laughs> if I just drop a song there, that'd be enough for me. <laughs> this shit was yeah. funny, dude. Are we actually what up, hey? Uh, festivals also, we're going to do a Wu Chang Idol. It's like American Idol, except. Bro, that's American sick, Idol. actually. Oh, American shit. Can I be a judge? Ooh. Look at all these different uh, Wu Chang artists be judged and shit every week. Oh fuck! I think that'll be sick, right? That's fucking that. That's sick. That's and nasty. then the, the winner we give uh, obviously we sign up maybe like a two hundred fifty k bonus. Dude, that would be sick, okay? Yeah. That sounds fun. It can even right. that don't, they don't need to even know how to make music if they can just sing or something. Then we can hook them up with producers and teach them all that stuff. Just picture people more people. Praise. Okay. Praise. What up, Nova? Who said that? Bro, she's got the okay. same mask as me. Hey, what what's up, up, Nova? We got beef. Hello. Hey, Nova. Yo, you have a bandage. Yo, what's up, Nova? Yeah, bro. Hi, hey, Nova. Bandage, you don't even have to right. do that, we'll, uh, start getting some. When do you want to do the show? Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly sure down for whenever you have a festival going. It. I'll just, I'll drop it. Four it's based around me. Come here, Santa. Let me talk to you for a second. Come here, Santa. Yeah. Come here. 